Hey guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91, and I'm talking about the Cyberpunk 2077 issue. Now, most of you guys probably already know what I'm talking about. The game really, based on what I've seen from like other YouTubers and from, especially from IGN's picture, it doesn't look too good on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. Now, I'm not going to go too deep into it. I'm going to talk about their apology, but I'm not going too deep into this because if you guys want to watch the other ones, I'll leave RGT85's video in the description below because not only did he make a video talking about this, but he was right about making a video about something weird going on with this game. So I'll leave a link in the description for that as well. Now, let's just start off with his apology. Now, I'm just going to read a little bit of this apology, not the whole thing. Dear gamers, first of all, we would like to start by apologizing to you for not showing the game on base last gen consoles before it premiered and in consequence, not allowing you to make a more informed decision about your purchase. We should have paid more attention to making it play better on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Okay, see, now herein lies the problem. Uh, listen, I'm not judging this company, not judging any of the developers or anything like that. We all make mistakes, okay? What I'm pointing out though is that this apology, the fact that they're apologizing for not showing the game, in the first line, they're not apologizing for, like, the game looking that way on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. They're apologizing for not showing the game on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. Or as they call it, base last-gen consoles. See, this kind of means that seemingly CD Projekt Red knew on the base last-gen consoles, so I'm guessing it looks better on the PlayStation 4 Pro and the Xbox One X, I'm not sure about the S, but the fact that they are apologized for not showing the game on that seemingly leads me to believe that they knew the game just didn't look good on those. That's why they didn't show any. And because they knew that people probably wouldn't buy them if they only owned a base PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One, if they actually showed the game on those consoles before it came out. But we got to just learn from this, guys. That's what I'm saying. I'm not judging CD Projekt Red or anything like that, but we gotta just learn from this. What do I mean by this? Because this is kind of uncharted territory in my opinion. What I, what I mean? Well, we've had games released broken, right? We've had games released what I call unfinished. This is different. I don't think we've ever had this where the, where like a game is released when both set of consoles are out. And yes, mo most games would look better on the newer consoles than the older ones, but where the difference is this big, I don't think we've ever had that. So guys, this you just got to learn from this. You got to be wary. You got to, just like RGT85 saw that there was something weird going on, you got to be wary when they don't show any gameplay from, I guess you could call them the initial last set of consoles. Then just be wary because there may be a reason, because there may be a reason why they're not showing any gameplay footage from the base last set of consoles. I mean, what do you guys think about the cyberpunk situation as a whole. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe. May God bless you all.